the world of insects is filled with a myriad of bizarre life. Strange and unusual creatures that live all around us every day. I'm Spencer Hoffman, and it's my mission to uncover the secrets of this unusual world. And the group of insects that has the most to hide are the beetles. There are more species of beetle than any other insect on the planet. And because of this, there are more than a few that science knows very little about. And while walking down a trail in my backyard, I stumbled upon something very unusual indeed. Check this out. It's a little blue crested beetle. A really cool looking one, how about that? I think it's looking for a place to lay eggs. These are wood boring beetles. Look at that, look how pretty you are. What are you, come here. Have a look at this, he's spitting up on me. It's kind of cool, just like a grasshopper almost. Now I don't get to work with Buprestids very often because they are not the most common beetles out here, but have a look at this one. As beetles go, this one's super pretty. And a lot of Buprestids often are. They're metallic, colorful, wood boring beetles. Some of which can be pests, but this is actually a native species. This is a red-legged Buprestid beetle. I can tell, as one, it's got red legs and it has that striking unmistakable pattern on the back and on the belly, especially on the abdomen there. You can see the, the striping on the side looks like looks like the side of like a wasp or something. And I wonder if that is some kind of aposomatic coloration designed to make it look unappealing to predators. And I wonder how bad, I wonder how nasty that stuff she's spitting up probably is. It is entirely possible that this beetle is poisonous because, uh, we don't actually know too much about this species. At this moment, it occurred to me that I was in possession of something very special. This Buprestis beetle might be a fairly uncommon species, but for this particular beetle, science doesn't actually know a whole lot about this beetle's life cycle. Particularly, they don't know what plants these beetles grow up in as larvae. Plants like this, or larval host plants, are things that scientists use to study the biology of various insects. Most commonly, we think of this in reference to caterpillars of different moths and butterflies, but beetles have larvae as well. These are types of insects that are known as holometabolous, or undergo complete metamorphosis in their lives. They have three main life stages, larva, pupa, and adult. And in the case of the Buprestis beetle, we don't know where the larvae are living because we've only ever found adults. I began to look around. If more of these beetles were in the area, and if I could confirm they were laying eggs, we are one step closer to having a larval host record for the red-legged Buprestis, which would be insane. And it didn't take long before I stumbled on a more of these beetles. Have a look at what this beetle is doing. At first glance, she just looks like she's perched on this dead red maple tree. But a closer look reveals that her abdomen has inserted an ovipositor into the decaying wood. What you're seeing right here is brand new to the world of entomology. For the first time on camera, a beautiful red-legged Buprestis beetle laying eggs. What we just witnessed was one of these beetles laying eggs inside this tree right here. And uh, that is something that we didn't know before, which is absolutely insane. Crazy to think about. This is literally 100 meters from my house. I am 100 meters from my house and I just filmed something that is completely brand new to science. This is exactly why I have made it my mission to uncover the secrets of the natural world. I may have a fairly wooded and wild backyard, but the truth is the insect world is so chock full of secrets that even in the most surprising locations, there are new discoveries every day. Most people might have walked right past or even kept a wide berth thinking these brilliantly colored beetles were actually wasps. But a closer look revealed an unusual discovery that is a clue to a rather mysterious beetles biology. All around us, strange life forms are living out their lives completely unseen. But the more we interact with the natural world, the more we reveal of its unusual secrets. If you'd like to join me on a journey into this secret world all around us, check out my docu-series called Secret Worlds. Each episode takes you on a journey into the lives of these secretive creatures all around us. 
Hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.